The Canola School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Alberta Canola Producers Commission, SAS Canola, and Manitoba Canola Growers. Welcome back to another edition of the Real Agriculture Canola School. I am Jessica Goose, and joining me right now is Sean Prager, who is an assistant professor of plant sciences at the University of Saskatchewan. How are you doing today, Sean? I'm doing well, thanks. Good. And today we're talking about aphids and uh, what farmers kind of need to look for when they are out scouting. Uh, so what are some of the kind of characteristics when it does come to aphids? Well, so in canola, there's really only one aphid species we worry about, and that's Mises persicae. So it's the green peach aphid, which is a generalist aphid pest. You see it on, you see it on all kinds of things, including brassicas. Generally, we don't think of it as being a particularly important pest in canola, but usually what you'll see is either signs of wilting, so there'll be what looks like some kind of water stress um, because they're sucking on the plants, or you'll simply see large numbers of the aphids themselves, and they're quite visible. Or the other thing you'll get is honeydew. So you'll see large amounts of sticky sap from the, the aphids feeding and then um, producing honeydew, which is aphid waste, onto the plants. And that can be kind of sticky and visible. Mm -hmm. When it comes to, um, I guess, the actual look of the aphid, what are we looking for? They're, they look like most of the common other aphids we think of. So they're small, they're green, although they can have other colors. Sometimes they can be reddish, depending on um, some factors and what they're feeding on and some mm -hmm. things like that. Six legs, they have a mouth part, distinct sucking mouth parts. They're very small and usually you find them in large groups. There's also winged aphids. We typically don't expect to see them and they have a slightly different appearance. They obviously have wings, but the general body shape is the same otherwise. Mm -hmm. When you talk about economic thresholds for farmers, what is that kind of key one or is there one? There's no economic threshold for aphids in canola. In canola, okay. There's also no recommended sampling plan, at least not for the prairies. Yeah, is there anything that you've seen kind of elsewhere or? There are plants or other places, but generally we don't think of them as being a particularly large pest in um, canola. And a lot of the other insects we manage are managed with insecticides that will handle aphids. Mm -hmm. So that also tends to keep the risk lower. Um, the only thing that makes aphids a little bit different is that they are vectors of disease. And while we don't really see any of that here, there's the potential that if you have large aphid outbreaks, you can also have some viruses that are vectored by the and aphids. And what would be what would be those? They're the vector of probably a hundred different oh, viruses. Oh wow! <laughs> we don't have enough time for that, but fair enough. We'll we'll be sure to link that into mm -hmm. the story, uh, which you can find on our website, realagriculture.com. Thank you so much for your time, Sean. 